breaking, Trump issues Russian collusion announcement, media stunned. For almost a full year now, the mainstream media has been banging their hands on tables trying to convince the general American public that Donald Trump colluded with Russian President Vladimir Putin. This week, President Trump took to Twitter in order to fire back against his media critics. It is now commonly agreed, after many months of costly looking, that there was no collusion between Russia and Trump. Was collusion with H.C. This declaration of innocence aligns with the most recent news reports about Hillary Clinton's pivotal role in the Uranium One scandal. The president's tweet could also signal his support for further investigations into Clinton's role in the Fusion GPS dossier that kickstarted the entire Russian investigation which is now headed by former FBI Director Robert Mueller. Federalist writer Molly Hemingway this week composed a handy guideline for all those interested in the true nature of the now widely discredited Trump dossier. Here are some of the highlights. Fusion GPS, an opposition research firm, relied on testimony provided by senior Russian officials, all of whom went unnamed in the dossier. The Republican Party did not fund the dossier by GOP donor, Marco Rubio supporter, and Washington Free Beacon backer Paul Singer was the man who first gave Christopher Steele, a former MI6 agent, the money to compile his nasty dossier. Hillary Clinton, the Democratic National Committee, and the FBI all paid to access the dossier. The dossier is the reason why the FBI illegally wiretapped private citizens, including an unpaid Trump intern. Furthermore, Steele's now widely discredited dossier is the reason why former FBI Director James Comey began investigating the Trump administration. Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller has continued this trend by issuing subpoenas based on the false information contained within the dossier. As for Clinton's own, much more credible connections to Russia, it all begins and ends with Uranium One. Back in 2005, Canadian mining executive Frank Justra used President Bill Clinton to help him purchase Kazakhstan's sizable uranium deposits. For his help, Justra gave the Clinton Foundation millions of dollars in donations. Justra used this uranium supply to buy into Uranium One, a Canada-based corporation that at one point controlled 20% of America's uranium supply then, during the Obama administration. Rosatom, a Russian nuclear energy company with ties to Mr. Putin, began using illegal methods to try and purchase Uranium One. These methods included money laundering, bribery, and extortion. The FBI, which was then led by Mr. Mueller, told the Obama administration all about this. Then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who then headed the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States cast the deciding vote in favor of selling America's uranium to Rosatom as part of the buyout of Uranium One. For their role in the matter, the Clintons and the Clinton Foundation were paid thousands of dollars in speaking fees for a single speech in Moscow. Not only did Mueller hand deliver some highly enriched uranium HEU, to Russia in 2009, but his FBI also helped to cover up the true extent of the Uranium One deal. Given all of this, President Trump is not wrong to criticize the American media for covering Mrs. Clinton and her own ties to Russian oligarchs.